So line it up, if you can line it up, yeah, with your shoulder blades between the scapula. Oh, <laughs> cool. And we're just gonna breathe here for um, a minute or two. Feel free to change your legs in any shape that's comfortable that allows a little more gravity to land in that spot. So heart opener, maybe even opening your arms to that goalpost shape if that helps open it or keeping them down at your sides or up. Yeah, either one, beautiful. So as we start to connect to our breath, notice that opening in your chest first. For me, sometimes it's not till I hit my mat that I feel like I've taken a full breath all day. So just really relish in that full expansion. Feeling that 360 degrees of your ribs. Feeling the diaphragm pull. And then we're just going to start to move, get some movement going into the arms and using the weight of your body to feel how that movement changes in your upper back. So we're going to think of the core engaging so that you're still engaged throughout this movement. We're going to inhale to reach the arms up to the sky. And then on your exhale, they sweep down like you're making a snow angel your sides. Inhale as you sweep up across the sky, making a big arch all the way back behind you. Exhale, sweep down. Inhale, sweeping up, just noticing how the scapula moved in your back. Maybe stretching through the fingertips, starting to open through the front of the chest as well. So almost every muscle group in our body has an opposite muscle group. And so a lot of what yoga is about is balancing those muscle groups. Sometimes when we don't use one enough, it makes the others have to overwork. And if one side is really tight, then it can pull on the opposite side, etc. So we're just finding strength and stretch, balancing both. Last time, this direction. And then on your next, we're going to reverse. So inhale as you open up and exhale as you sweep down towards your knees. Inhale, sweeping up your sides. And exhale, sweep across the sky to your knees. One more round here. And exhale. Good. Nice. Bring your knees back together if you find that butterfly shape. We're coming up into a sort of a heart opener here. So we're bringing the palms facing down under your butt. And you're bringing your weight onto your forearms, lifting your chest up. And you can look at the camera, look at me. And we're going to bring the legs up to a tabletop. Yeah, so your heart is open, chest is back, neck is like not too tense, but I know that's hard to do. So find it more in your core if you can, rather than in your throat. Good. And then we're going to tap down one toe and exhale to bring it back. Inhale as you tap, exhale, bring it back. Inhale as you tap, exhale, bring it back. Notice the belly here pulling in as you bring it up. So you feel maybe a slight arch and then back. Good. If you wanna make this more challenging, you can bring the legs out long. So it's a tap of the heel.
think of this action coming from the hips tucking under, and that's going to take it out of the hip flexors and into the core. Two more rounds here. Last one. Yeah. <laughs> and all the way up, coming into boat pose. No rest for the wicked. Here for five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees, reach back, coming into tabletop. Let's stretch that out, coming into cat and cow pose. Inhale, gaze and tailbone up. And exhale, pull the belly in to stretch through the back. Moving through your cat and cows, just waking up that spine. And coming back to your neutral spine, we're going to send the right leg out to your side. So you're setting up like you're setting up for gate pose, but then we're going to hover the foot off. So lifting up the foot, send those toes to the front and try and square your chest over. So really bring a lot of weight into your right hand, especially. We're gonna lift here for 10, nine, eight, straight. Just like six, five, four, three, two, and one. Swing that leg around. It's hard probably to see, but we're going to bring it into a curtsy shape. So my knees are, one knee is tucked behind the other. And then sink your hips back. Forehead to the mat. Stay here forever or come on up. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So your left foot is coming out this time, flexing the toes to the front, and then really put your weight into your left hand as we lift up, squaring your chest over your hands, fanning those toes, pulling the belly in for 10, nine, eight, seven, straighter legs, six, five, four, three, two, and one, swing it around, tuck it behind the right knee, and sink hips back towards your heels, foreheads towards the mat. Hmm? All of our, our collective foreheads. <laughs> And then back up to all fours. Reaching your right arm up to the sky. Open your knees a little wider than your hips. Opening through the chest here. Give yourself a couple of wrist circles and reverse. Maybe some shoulder circles. And then we're going to thread the needle. So this hand is going to go under and I'm bringing my shoulder down to the mat, but then I'm squaring back off to find a deeper stretch through my shoulder blade. So I'm thinking of bringing my right hip up, my left hip under, my left hip, my left shoulder as far down towards the mat as I can go, and maybe even my gaze goes to the opposite side to feel that full twist. Big deep breaths into the upper back here. One more big inhale. Stay for the exhale. And then press up. One more big triumphant reach to the sky. And look. Yep. Other side, the left arm reaches up to the sky. Do whatever circle feels good here. Shaking out the hands, shaking out the shoulders. Mm. 
reaching up and exhale, thread it through. Again, whatever the flexibility allows, if it feels good to switch your gaze across your shoulder, that might help to intensify the stretch. You're also always welcome to find a bind. There's also a balance option in this posture. Just make it your own expression. Um, one more big inhale, complete exhale, <clears throat> inhale, reaching up to the sky, and <clears throat> it on down, downward facing dog is next, make your hands big and wide as we lift the hips up to the sky and pedal out the feet, shake out the head. Good. Separate your feet a little bit wider than your hips, maybe about max distance. Bring your right hand back towards your left ankle. And give yourself a little pull here. Make sure the elbow is a little bit bent in your left hand so you're not overextending in that elbow. And then other side, plant firmly into the right hand. Reach back, grab the right. Shake that head out. Good. Inhale, way forward to high plank. Here for five breaths. You know what to do. Really press through that low back, pulling the belly button into the spine. Making sure the booty is in line with the crown of the head, just one solid plank. Two more breaths. On your last exhale, slowly lower all the way down to your belly, stacking your palms underneath your forehead. Windshield wiper, feel the heart beating against the mat. Zip your legs, press down into the tops of the feet, so much so that the knees lift off the mat. Inhale, gentle cobra. Smile through those collarbones, opening that chest. And exhale, pressing back through tabletop to down dog. All right, moving a little faster this time, big inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale, way forward, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, if that's in your practice, always an option to come to your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog, this time heart shines, thighs, everything off the mat, just your feet. Yes, beautiful Amelia, and then back to down dog. Big inhale here. Exhale, all your air out, step to the top of your mat, finding forward fold. In your forward fold, your feet are hip distance apart. Nice. Bending the knees, letting the th whole chest rest on your thighs. Interlacing opposite hands into opposite biceps if that helps gravity pull some length into your spine. And maybe some gentle rocking side to side to shake it out. This is such a doable posture to throw into your life at all times of the day when you just need a reset. In between Zoom meetings, while you wait for the oven to heat up. And then release your hands, toe heel your feet together, 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly rise up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, your arms to the sky. And exhale, hands to your heart. Take a moment here, thumb knuckles pressed against your heart, feel it beat. Connecting with whatever your intention is for your practice today. Maybe it's for a little self-love, patience, knowing that you are enough. Inhale that intention to your third eye, thumb knuckles to your forehead. And exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back to your plank pose, pausing to find your alignment. Check in with that core. And your exhale takes you down to chaturanga, elbows hugging into your sides. Inhale, heart shines through. And exhale, pulling back to down dog. One breath per movement this time. Big inhale. Exhale completely. Step or hop to the top. Inhale halfway. Exhale fold. Inhale mountain pose. Reach to the sky. Sweep up that sun. Exhale, bring it through your heart center as you fold. Inhale halfway lift. <laughs> Exhale, step back. Big inhale to check in with your core. Exhale, take it with you as you lower. Inhale, heart shines. Exhale, hook back to down dog. Last sun A, inhale. Exhale completely. Step or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up to the sky. Exhale, dive heart first, folding forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step on back. Inhale, check in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, smile. Exhale, <laughs> Awesome, moving on, right leg goes high, inhale. Exhale, ooh yeah, knee to nose. <laughs> Pausing here, knee to nose. Big inhale, exhale, bring it back, stay in your plank if you can, find that challenge. Right leg hovers back behind you. Exhale to right elbow. <laughs> inhale back. Stay in that plank if you can. Yes, drop star to the left elbow. Inhale back. Exhale, knee to nose once again. And then step it forward, low lunge. Good, nice. We're coming up to high lunge, but make sure that you have a really strong base. Make sure that your feet are hips width apart. And then we're peeling up into our high lunge. Good. Coming into your goalpost arms once again. Yes, nice. Check in with that back leg that is strong behind you. Your core is pulling your pelvis up and under. Good. Take an inhale here. And on your exhale, we're going to sweep through and high five ourselves at the top. Good. Inhale as you come back. Exhale, give yourself a big high five. So think of this motion coming from the strength of your legs pressing down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Exhale. Your inhale, open up warrior two. Good. Adjusting, making sure once again that pelvis is underneath you. Take another inhale. 
and exhale, back hand comes up and over, side angle, looking up to the ceiling if you can. Always an option to reach that arm out in front of you, yes, for that added core challenge. One more big inhale. Exhale, coming up, supporting your low back maybe as you reverse. Maybe opening that elbow up to the sky. Two heart opening breaths here. On your exhale, all the way down to the mat. Moving through your vinyasa. All right. Left leg, inhale high. Exhale, knee to nose. Pausing here, taking out that momentum. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring it back. Covering it next to the right. Then it, exhale to your left elbow. Inhale it back. Exhale to your right elbow. Awesome, bring it back, inhale. Exhale to your nose once again, and then step it forward. Make that strong foundation, we need it as we move. Inhale, come on up, press it, lunch. Once again, big hands, big chest, core engaged. Take a big inhale, exhale, high five. Hi, Justin. Exhale, high five. <laughs> Exhale, big high five. Last one. Exhale. Inhale, open up to your warrior two. Really press into that mat, see if you can split it in two. Bringing your back hand up and over, flipping the palm, coming into side angle. Gazing up to the ceiling, if you can, to open that right shoulder back, tucking that left shoulder open. Reaching out for that beach ball if you did on the other side, but keep that knee open towards pinky toe. It's the strength of that outer hip that we did at the beginning of class. One more big inhale. And exhale, come on up. Stay low in that front knee as you reverse. Opening the heart. Two more breaths. Last one. Exhale, all the way down we go. Vinyasa. Yeah. <laughs> Good. All right. One breath per movement. Let's skip those brutal knee to noses. We're going to come right into that crescent lunge. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale. Use that core. Step it forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, high five. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, up and over, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, down to the mat, vinyasa. Good, inhale, left leg. Exhale, use your core. Inhale, wide stance. Exhale, high five. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, up and over. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, down to the mat. Last time, right leg high. Exhale, step it through. 
Inhale, crescent. Exhale, high five. Inhale, warrior two, awesome breath. Exhale, up and over. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, vinyasa. <laughs> Left leg, inhale. Make it count, step it forward. Inhale, rising up, powerful warriors. Exhale, high five. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, all the way down to the mat. Move through your vinyasa and we'll meet in a child's pose. In your child's pose, maybe this time it feels good to bring the knees together. And bring the arms back behind you, coming into more of a rabbit shape. Or perhaps reaching your arms out as much as they can go and then bending the elbows and reaching back to grab the top of your head and give yourself a little massage in the back of the neck. Just checking in with your intention for practice today. Once you've caught your breath and caught your intention, we'll meet back in a downward facing dog. Take a big inhale here. Exhale all the air as we step or hop to the top. Inhale to chair pose. Good, sinking down into your chair, tucking your hips under, taking out that duck butt in your low back so it's all one straight line. Let's get that breath up again. Take a big inhale to reach the fingertips. And exhale, twist high to the right, reaching your left fingertips to the front. Make your arms straight. Yes, good. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist high to the left, like someone's pulling your arms front to back. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Good, inhale, center. This time, exhale, twist low, connecting your left elbow to your right knee. Here is a great place to stay, or if you'd like to open your wings, reaching the left hand down to the mat and right arm up to the sky for a little deeper twist. So make sure the gaze is still right on top of the toes and then back up to the sky. Checking in with that alignment, that hips are in line with the mat. Nice adjustments. Take in one more big inhale. And exhale, fold. Separating your feet, hips distance, a, still a gentle bend, clasping the hands behind your back and rinse up and over. And then releasing your hands, toe heel your feet back together. Inhale, chair pose. 
Starting that same sequence now to the left. Exhale as you twist high to the left, reaching right fingertips to the front. Gaze follows, inhale, center. Check in as you twist that your knees are still shining forward. This is for the mid back, inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, last time to the right. Tuck those hips under, inhale, center. Exhale, twist low to the left. Elbow maybe to the right elbow to the left knee. Maybe you spread your wings on this one, but checking in with your alignment, looking down at your toes, making sure the hips are in line. And then fingertips engaged here, strong, extended, awesome. One more big inhale. Stay for the exhale. On your inhale, we're actually opening up into a squat. So opening your feet, maybe max distance, and then sinking your hips down into your squat. Yeah, looks good. So there's a bind here that I like to play with we're gonna bring the left arm to wrap around so your palm is facing up on your booty. I'll show you from the side what it looks like. Yeah, good. So the left, the right arm is gonna reach up to the sky and this is a great place to stay. If you wanna play with the bind, you reach back and catch whatever is there. Uh -huh. Three breaths here. So if that doesn't feel available, you can plant that left hand down and reach the right arm up. Twisting, yes. Pressing away, yes, good. And then switch it out. So again, either your right hand is planting and the left arm is reaching, or you're reaching back And around, and maybe one day, someday. And often for me, it's my dominant side that's less flexible, right? So that might be the side that needs a little more love and or a little bit more stretch. Two more breaths here, really open through the chest. Yes. And release. We're coming up to stand. So take a deep breath here, pressing palms together. And on your exhale, we shoot up. <laughs> yeah, Woo. nice, shake it up. All right, Eagle Pose is next. So we're going to sit back into our chair. This time, eagling with our right arm under and the left leg up and over. Once again, check in with those shoulder blades that they're not hiking up to your ears, but squeezing down and back. So the lift is through the elbows, not the shoulders. Good. Squeezing those inner thighs together. Take another inhale upright. And on your exhale, shift your gaze so you're looking down at the ground. Think of hinging deeper into the hips. Good. Then we're going to unwind the left leg and send it back for warrior three with eagle arms. Yes, reaching those fingertips out in front of you. Taking one more big inhale. And on your exhale, we're stepping back to warrior one. So your hips are staying square to the front. One more big inhale with those eagle arms and exhale, release, hallelujah, arms up. Good, straightening the front leg, we're coming into pyramid pose. So bringing your right hand into your right hip to square your chest off. Your left fingertips are going to reach up and over coming into pyramid. 
Keep guiding that right hip back with your right hand and sending the left hip forward, lifting up all five toes. An option here is to maybe find reverse namaste. So your hands in namaste can go in that namaste shape behind you. One more big inhale and exhale, rising up. We're opening up into warrior two. And then straightening that front leg, coming into Trikonasana. So get those hips underneath you and then reach and come on down. This is a great place to stay. If you wanna flip this posture a little bit on its side and play with your balance, you can come into half moon pose. You might need a book or a can of beans to bring the floor to you. So this is a great thing to skip as well. No big deal. But in half moon pose, you're reaching to the floor with your right hand and the left hand reaches up to the sky, but your left leg is hovering keeping those hips open. So still everything touching an imaginary wall behind you. <clears throat> nice. If you're in half moon, gently step back. Everyone meeting back in your Trikonasana. And then coming up and sinking down into our goddess pose. So in goddess pose, I'll show you from the front, but you can stay where you are. Yeah, your knees are tracking over your toes and you're opening your chest. Yes, and once again, that those hips are underneath you, that pelvis shining forward. If you like to challenge your balance, you can come up to one heel or come off of one heel or both heels. Good. Sinking lower for five, knees open four, pelvis under three, chest wide two, big inhale one, and exhale, come on back. Whew. All right, stepping forward to the top of your mat, and we'll do this whole sequence on the other side. Shake it out, and let it go. <sighs> Sitting back to your chair and eagle it up. So this time it's your left leg that comes up and over and your right arm that comes under. So you're crossing into each other. Once again, breathe deep into that upper back. Lifting through the elbows, but sinking down through the shoulders. That stira and sukha, engagement and release. Steady. Then folding forward as you hinge back, still reaching those fingertips out in front of you. Find that drishti so you can really slow down this transition. Inner thigh squeezing and then unwind. Yes, you got it. Slower transitions just means more challenge stepping back to your warrior one. Ooh, yeah. Take one more inhale to reach and exhale, release. Inhale, warrior one, awesome. Then bringing your right hand, did I do this opposite last time? How are we doing, Amelia? Are you on the same side as we are? I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> yeah, me too. I think we are too. So left. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll just all have a gangster lift this week. It's fine. So your left hand is pulling back your left hip and your right hip is shooting forward. Yeah, that's what we want. Your right arm up and over. Oh yeah, that hamstring is a new experience. <laughs> so your left hip continues to pull back as your right hip 
shoots forward. If you found reverse namaste on the other side, maybe find that on this side. Opening all five toes on this foot and setting them down, just stretching through that big wide foot. More balance, more rounding strength. One more inhale, one more exhale. Bend that front knee and we'll rise up to warrior two on this side. Oh yeah. Straighten that front leg, check in with that imaginary wall, everything pulling back. Reach, 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 and then come down to your triangle on this side. Taking a breath or two here to really feel that stretch in your left hip first. And then if you'd like to play with your half moon pose, gently bend the front knee to come up and over into your half moon. Reaching the right fingertips up to the sky, lifting through that right heel. You're in half moon, gently bend the standing knee and step on back to your trikonasana. And then up, pigeon toe your toes. Once again, clasp your hands if that felt good or just bring your hands to your hips. Take a big inhale, open through the whole front side body. And then exhale as we open through the back side of the body, finding your forward fold. Bringing your hands to wherever you're assisting gravity. So that can be at the back of your head, or it can be down to the mat to gently pull you into some length or to the ankles, whatever feels good. Maybe bending one knee and then the other. Two more breaths here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees and roll all the way up. Big inhale, X stretch. Feeling your intention through your whole body from fingertips to toe tips. And exhale to the top of your mat. Woo. All right. So we're gonna fall into this transition if you'd like. I'll show you what I mean. We're gonna sit all the way back into a chair and then that chair is going to roll back all the way into plow pose. So I'm gonna sink my hips back and then my legs up and over. You can also do as Alfredo is demonstrating, really slow it down. Yeah, nice. Once you get there, get your hands underneath your low back, your elbows as close together as they can go, and then lifting your legs up to the sky. Jiggle out your legs. <laughs> In two more breaths here. And then coming back down to your cloud pose. Bones facing down slowly lower one vertebra at a time. Back 
to your mat. Coming into a happy baby pose next. Opening through the, the hamstrings, the inner thighs. And then bringing your knees together, you can let your knees fall to the right and gaze to the left. If it feels good, you can tuck the left knee under the right. And then switch sides. Shifting your hips to the right, let your knees fall to the left. Gaze to the right. And then just flip on over to your belly like a pancake. I'm going to flip so that, Emilia, you can see my front, but everyone else can just flip on over. So we're going to start with a shoulder opening similar to the thread the needle. So I'm going to bring my right arm under and my left arm across and then rest my head in between and just breathe into those shoulders and the upper back. Whatever feels good in your low back, however you want to release your legs. Maybe even a frog feels good. And then we'll switch. So if your right arm was under, this time for your left arm under and your right arm over. Thinking of this as a heart, heart opener to the back, really expanding through your heart between your shoulder blades. Yeah, big breath. And then we're going to open up. It might be good to see me, Amelia, just for a second. So I'm sending my left arm long and my right hand is in like a half push up. So I'm pressing into the earth and my right leg is coming up and over to stretch into that left shoulder. And lots of options here. You can reach back to find a little bind. You can stay on the earth to be sort of the gas pedal. And you can also walk the left hand up into more of a Y shape, more of an angle towards your head. And that'll find a deeper stretch as well. Make sure wherever you are, your head is heavy. You're really trusting the mat to hold the side of your head.
And gently come on back, other side. So your right hand is coming either out perpendicular to your body, or maybe at a slight angle towards your head. Your, left, your right cheek, rather, is to the mat. And your left leg is coming up and over. So all of your body weight is coming into the right side body. Your left hand creates the gas pedal pressing into the earth, or it sweeps around to find a gentle body. One more big heart opening breath. And then come on back to your belly. You are welcome to do Shavasana on your belly today. If that feels good, just stacking your hands however it feels nice, or maybe even bringing that pillow or roll up the mat underneath you. Otherwise, if you'd like to flip on back over to your back, that's a great option as well to do your Shavasana just in the normal way. So once you've got yourself situated, just take a moment to feel your heart beating in your chest. Coming back once more to that intention of self-acceptance. That you do enough, you are enough. In yoga, we call this practice of self-care and self-love santosha. So if it helps you to have a word to guide you in your meditation practice or in your shavasana, just come back to that word of santosha as your mind might start to wander.
gently guide your mind back to that word Santusha. Breathing into it with every cell, with every inch of your skin, and muscles and bones. When you're ready, finding any movement or stretch, and eventually coming into a fetal position on your most supported side. And so much of what we see in our world tells us that we aren't enough, that we need more things, that we need more solutions, that we need to change ourselves. But just in this moment, believe in your own Santosha. Believe that you are enough. always have been and you always will be. And then that truth will rise up to a seat when you're ready. Light in me, honors the light in all of you. Namaste. Namaste.